Good evening, I'm Hamid Shaban, and this is the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. His Royalness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, inaugurated today the Bahrain Fine Arts Exhibition, which is being held on its 43rd edition at the Bahrain National Museum. His Royalness said art is a comprehensive message that the Bahraini artists must employ to serve their country politically, intellectually, and culturally. He said art has become a means of communication with the world that must be used to reflect Bahrain's development in political, economic, and social fields and assist in attracting investment to the kingdom. He added, Bahraini artists have renewable creativity that they pass on to next generations which highlights Bahrain's rich history. The Prime Minister toured the exhibition and discussed with the participating artists about their work in paintings, ceramics, sculpture, photography, video and calligraphy. His Rohanis expressed admiration in the works of art displayed, which are clearly of an international standard. He said the success of the exhibition confirms Bahrain's capability to organize various specialized events, adding that the fine art movement in the kingdom shows a wide range of creativity that expresses reality with an artistic touch. He went on to confirm the government's support to the development of art as it contributes to educating the public on the nation's cultural heritage and the march of progress. The Prime Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to the President of Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Hamey bint Mohammed Al Khalifa, and to the Honorary President of Bahrain Fine Arts Society, Sheikh Rashid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, for the tremendous efforts in organizing the event. On the occasion, Sheikh Hamey bint Mohammed thanked the continuous support of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, saying that for over 43 years, His Royal Highness has paid great attention to the sector, which reflects a clear vision about the importance of art and culture in addition to promoting the heritage and culture of the kingdom. She also expressed pride that the exhibition displayed exceptional work of Bahraini and international artists that speak the passionate language of art, which is itself a unifying medium. Sheikh Rashid bin Khalifa expressed thanks and appreciation to His Rohanis, the Prime Minister, for patronizing the event, thanking him for his support, which has contributed in the development of national fine art. He noted that the exhibition paved the way for Bahraini artists to create their best pieces in order to participate in the event.
The commander of the National Guard, Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, received the Pakistani Chief of Staff, General Marine Mohammed Zakatullah, and the accompanying delegation today on the occasion of their visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain. Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa welcomed the Pakistani Chief of Staff and hailed the relations between the two countries in all fields. He also affirmed that Bahrain looks forward to further cooperation with Pakistan in all fields, especially in the military one. The meeting also discussed various topics of common interest and was attended by the National Guard's Director of Staff, Major General Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Saud. Al Khalifa and the ambassador of Pakistan to the kingdom, Javed Malik. The Representatives Council held its 15th session today, chaired by the Speaker of the Council, Ahmed bin Ibrahim Al Mullah. The Council issued a statement strongly condemning the terrorist attack that targeted the guest house in the province of Kandahar. The Council also approved the report of the Legislative and Legal Affairs Committee regarding the proposal of adding Article 226 to Decree 54 for 2002 of the Internal Representative Council's list and the report of the Economic and Financial Affairs Committee regarding the modification of Decree 28 of 1999 of establishing and organizing industrial areas. The Council approved the Kingdom's accession to the International Convention on Civil Liability for Bunker Oil Pollution Damage 2001. The Council also approved the Kingdom's accession to the Convention of Limitation of Liability for Maritime Claims 1976 and the Protocol of 1996, referring the two projects to the concerned committees. The Council approved extending the work of the Parliamentary Committee of Inquiry on the Phenomenon of Runaway Laborers, the problems stemming from it and its causes to a month from the date of the end of its original service. A proposal regarding the government's coordination with the Gulf Cooperation Council's support of the persecuted people of Rohingya was approved, as well as a proposal regarding the establishment of a directorate in the Ministry of Works, Municipalities and Urban Planning for the drainage of rainwater and surface water. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, participated in the 15th Ministerial Meeting of the Asian Cooperation Dialogue today, entitled Sustainable Energy, held in the United Arab Emirates. The Foreign Minister delivered a speech in which he affirmed Bahrain's keenness in reinforcing cooperation at all levels of the ACD through exchanging expertise and views on ways to achieve Asian economic integration. The Minister highlighted Bahrain's interest in sustainable development and achieving its objectives, particularly in energy, by foreign partnerships with Asian countries in the field, noting the economic role of Asia at a global level. Sheikh Khalid stated that Bahrain and all participants in the dialogue seek to stay updated with regional and international developments and to strengthen the mechanisms of dialogue. He also highlighted the events due to be hosted by Bahrain in 2017, including a workshop on the use of carbon to enhance oil production and another on the relationship between energy and water, both scheduled for February of this year. He also mentioned the Middle East Oil and Gas Show and Conference, MIAS 2017, scheduled for March. Sheikh Khalid expressed Bahrain's aspirations to host the first meeting of the Secretariat General of the Regional and Sub-Regional Organizations and Forums in Asia, which will be an important step to consolidate inter-Asia states' relations. Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa met today with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Kyrgyzstan, Arlan Abdul Latif, on the sidelines of the Asia Cooperation Dialogue. Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed highlighted the strong ties between the Kingdom and Kyrgyzstan and discussed means of developing these relations in all fields to support the common interests of the two friendly people and countries. He affirmed the importance of exchanging visits between officials to develop cooperation in the fields of politics, economy and the environment, as well as to enhance mutual coordination on various regional and international issues. For his part, Mr. Abdul Latif affirmed his country's keenness on reinforcing its relations with Bahrain. He wished the kingdom further progress and development. Shop Bahrain will return for a third year of special deals and festivities this Thursday with a full calendar of events revealed today. Danielle DePorto brings us all the details in this report. The detailed calendar of events for Shop Bahrain was revealed at a press conference held today at the Capital Club. Shop Bahrain will return for a third year of deals and delights from this Thursday until February 18th. 
The 30-day celebration, designed to boost economic activity in the retail and tourism sectors, has been co-organized by Tamkeen and the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, the BTEA, in collaboration with public and private sector partners, such as Gulf Air and Patelco, hotels and shopping malls. The main objectives are based on three fundamentals, uh, increasing the economic uh, contribution into Bahrain, uh, enhancing the tourism sector and uh, marketing and promoting Bahrain uh, as a shopping destination as well. Uh, so this year what we've uh, basically done, we increased the number of events, we created a, a festival city in Bahrain Bay and uh, we made sure that uh, all the tourism establishments, hotels, airlines, tour operators, all to be involved. True to its name, Shop Bahrain centres on retail offerings and special sales across the island, with shoppers eligible for four weekly raffle draws for over 25,000 prizes, including cars, flights and smartphones. Hungry shoppers will then be able to take the taste tour and enjoy special set menus from the 29 participating restaurants. A highlight of this year's Shop Bahrain is the establishment of Festival City at Bahrain Bay, which will feature family-friendly activities, including games, food stalls and live performances, in addition to the entertainment showcased at participating shopping malls and hotels. This is a national initiative and, and uh, any uh, kind of uh, success for Shop Bahrain is success for Bahrain itself and for the, um, uh, as well, the, the private sector as well. So we all work together in order to ensure that we have uh, more tourists, more expenditure by the tourists and more programs and events happening at the same time. The event has been scheduled to coincide with the region's holiday season, so visitors are expected to flock from neighbouring countries to enjoy the Shop Bahrain Festival from this weekend. The organisers are targeting a 30% increase in the average spend per tourist to 100 dinars. In just two days' time, a month of activities combining business and pleasure will begin with Shop Bahrain. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Danielle Deporto.